Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Quasar's Advanced Garages. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log in. I'm already logged in. But as after you log in, you're just going to want to go to their products tab. Wait for it to load. Go to garages and make sure you purchase their advanced garages. Now, after you purchase their advanced garages, you're going to want to go to cfx.re um key master and log into your 5m account and just search for quasar and you will see quasar store garages right here you're just going to want to go ahead and download that as soon as you do you're done downloading it you're going to want to go to the location where you downloaded it and open the zip folder after you open the zip folder you want to go ahead and open your server files we're going to go to resources. If you watched our last Quasar video, we made a subfolder for their scripts. You want to go ahead and open that. And you can just drag their advanced garages inside. You can go ahead and close the .zip now. Open advanced garages. Open SQL. And depending if you're on QBCore or ESX, you're going to run the one according to your server. So this one is going to be ESX. So I'm going to just open ESX. Hit open and click this little button right here, refresh it. And as you can see, for example, it created player garages and you can see we have player garages. So now we know that that went in. After you run that, you can delete the SQL folder. Go ahead, open advanced garages, open config, go right here. Now, anything in here, you can set it to whatever you want. If you want to use a target system, you can either set it to aux target QB radio menu. You can't set it to QB target. Um, as you can see, it says it right there. For fuel, it'll automatically detect whichever fuel system you have. Same thing with weather, same thing with keys, all that stuff. So you can change um, the blips for each one for example a plane garage vehicle garage or a bow garage um, you can change them these can be found on the 5m website here you can obviously change the prices when you transfer the tax impound price or if you can enable repair kits etc um, you can disable this the music menu sounds you can turn off and here is where like i guess the impounds where you would recover your vehicle there's already two you can set them to whatever you want garages they already have set garages same thing you can just copy one of these how it's laid out and place a garage anywhere else or you can just change the cords here that's pretty much it for the config now i'm just gonna go ahead and close the config and head to Quasar's documentation page because here they have links to the dependencies like Bob as uh, Bob 74 for the IQ uh, IPOs Oxlib. if you already have a server with a lot of resources you most likely already have Oxlib. to double check you're just gonna want to go to your TX dashboard go to resources and search for ox underscore lib as you can see, I have it, so I'm not going to re-download it. But in the case that you do not have it, just go ahead and download it using the link right here. But we need to download Bob74, so we're going to go ahead and put that in my downloads. And same thing for vehicle deformation. We're going to go ahead, hit code, download zip, and download that to my downloads. Now you can go ahead and head back to their documentation. Just make sure any vehicle keys so for example see like if you have um the cd one right um from code sign just make sure it started before garages but any housing script has to be started after the garages but after that you can go ahead and close your documentation and head to your downloads folder where you just downloaded those dependencies so you can see we have bob 74 right here if you are an, on an ESX build, I believe it comes with it. Yeah. So Bob's uh, Bob 74 is included with ESX and it might be included with um, QB core. But in the case that it's not, you can just go ahead and download it from their documentation page. But since I do not need it, I will go ahead and delete it. Vehicle deformation, I definitely do not have. 
so just going to go ahead open if you are an esx just go to standalone as it started above everything and just drag in vehicle deformation we can go ahead and close that just going to want to rename this to vehicle deformation so just remove the dash main and that is all you have to do now after all that all you're going to want to go to your lab console and just restart your server and i'll be right back as soon as the server is up Okay, and as soon as you load in, you're just going to want to head to one of the garages. So we'll just go to Mirror Park. Just teleport here. And as you can see, we have E to open garage. Guys, I don't have any vehicles, so I got the notification about that. So let's just go ahead and go buy a vehicle to show you guys. We're just going to go ahead and teleport to the dealership and buy a car. So we'll just buy this. Okay, let's give ourselves some money. Okay, now we can go ahead and buy the car. Let's turn this radio off. So we'll just head to a garage that's closer instead of going all the way over there. We'll go to this garage right here. So we're just gonna want to go ahead and drive to this. Store your vehicle over here. If I hit E, as you can see, my car is right here. It shows the name of the vehicle, the license plate, and all the stats. So we can even favorite the car but like the tag we just I can just set a tag I can send it to a different garage I can transfer it to a player or I can see all the vehicles that are out but you can pause the music either by clicking here or just clicking P on your keyboard if you click F9 you can delete that overlay or clicking escape will close the garage your arrow keys will go to your next car. I don't have any other cars. This is my only car. As you see, you just hit drive vehicle. Drive vehicle. Wait for the car to load out. And there you go. So there is even an enter garage option. So if you click G, you can go ahead and enter an actual garage. Just walk up to the elevator. And as you can see, your car will be parked inside. If you just walk up to your car, you can see the stats of your car, visual visual state, and the engine status. If you want to drive your car, you just get in, start driving, and it will teleport you outside. So that is how you install Quasar's Advanced Garages. I hope I made it easier for you guys. If you guys have any questions or any problems, just leave a comment down below. Or if you guys want another script tutorial, just go ahead and comment it down below and I'll try my best to get that pushed out for you guys. But with that being said, I hope I made it a little bit easier for you guys and have a great day.